Hello, my friend. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. I will tell you in this video why I believe that Rafael Liao is gonna be a blue very soon. Number one, we have the bargain tools. Christian Pulisic and Hakim Ziyech could be used as bargain tools to negotiate the deal between Chelsea Football Club and AC Milan. You all know that Liao has low salary over there at Milan. They're still negotiating on the price to pay him, but I don't think they can manage to pay that kind of money that he deserves. And Christian Pulisic, Hakim Ziyech been linked with AC Milan for a little while now and I think offering them two players, two quality players plus a certain amount of money on top is going to convince them and we're going to be in pole position if you compare to what other teams are going to offer. Reason number two, George Mendes. Remember, Todd Bowley is trying to build some bridges between him and certain agents around Europe. Under Marina Granovskaya, she refused to do some big businesses with a big agent like Mino Raiola or George Mendes. She was going with the, the lowest one, you know, to make her business a little easier. But now we saw Todd Boyle went to Portugal, especially to meet George Mendes. And also they are talking about him helping Todd Boyle to get uh, a club in Brazil and another one in Portugal. Mendes is in charge of helping Chelsea in many levels. And remember, even Cristiano Ronaldo was going to sign for Chelsea Football Club if it wasn't for Thomas Tuchel. So we have good relationship now with uh, Liao agent and I'm not going to be surprised if he makes it easier for Chelsea Football Club when it comes to his client like Rafael Liao and even Joao Felix and even Cristiano Ronaldo. Keep your eye open on George Mendes client because we have some good relationship now. Reason number three, we got the money and Todd Bowley is not afraid of spending big money on quality players. That's what he does here in America with the teams that he owns. He pays the, more, the most money. He got big names just because he's all about youth project doesn't mean that he's not going to spend money on proven players so get ready because we're gonna be there we're gonna be on the queue jude bellingham we're gonna be there anybody big that can improve us immediately we're gonna be there but we're not gonna forget also project youth that we have under Graham Porter. so it's gonna be a mixture of experience already made ready to kill players out there to perform and win something and also a bunch of uh, future bowlers that can improve under Graham Porter and that can also save us a lot of money in the future and we can develop them to um, to the next level a good manager is not only a checkbook manager a good manager is also somebody who can create his own legacy by promoting by coaching developing certain players take them from zero to heroes
But and the move to Milan, I remember a few people saying, hmm, "Is this move a bit dodgy because Milan paying 30 million for for him after one season in France, where he hasn't really, like you said, like you saw, we all saw it, where okay, we see the talent, but it doesn't really materialize in anything yet." And I just think purely deserves so much credit and his and his team for taking Leao, which was really like a an unpolished diamond to Milan and say, okay, this is how we're going to work. This is what we're going to make you do. And I think this is where you see the quality of a manager. We can say everything about, okay, win trophies and be successful of that. But maybe the best quality of a manager is to make those, take, take a player like Leao and take it to the next level, making him improve. And I think Pioli has done that so, so well. I mean, the play is now, compared to where he was in France, is unrecognizable almost. Awesome.